Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Ward. Difficult to stop him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schloop starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Chances on. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Ezzy and a timely intervention and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage well, this could pose problems for the defenders and another one two quick goals will it turn out to be the two punch knockout Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. A chance to whip it in. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, the referee saw it as a bookable offence. And I think he's got it absolutely right. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Now delivering that deep cross. Well, not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Jimenez. Neto. Wolves unable to retain possession. Wilfred Zaha. Zaha? Now here's Johnny. And a poor ball. And the advantage accrues to the tackle completely mistimed. And you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Wilfred Zaha. Can they get in behind them? And Wolves recovering possession well. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Moutinho. Well, half-time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stuart, your thoughts on what we've seen? I have to say, Derek, they haven't played well. They've been slow in possession, they've been poor defensively, and they've lacked a cutting edge. They need to perform much better than this. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Schlup and Edouard with it Ezzy well-timed tackle Jimenez and he keeps going and cutting inside Gonzalo Gedge Jimenez, and it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And the referee blows the whistle, bringing to an end the first half here at Selhurst Park. Well, it's all going to plan so far for Raul Jimenez. A most enjoyable performance from him. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere and he's taken his goals really well. And this confrontation is underway. Chances on. And a... Away they go into the second half and Wolves dominating the proceedings. Will it be a different story this half? Jimenez. On to Moutinho. Return to Jimenez. Moutinho. On to Gedge. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Ducouré. And Zaha has it. Odson Edouard. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Here it is now. A substitution. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Coming off the pitch. Number 15, Jeffrey Schlupp. Coming onto the pitch. Number 19, Will Hughes. Gonzalo Getsch. And he's through here. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed. 
but he still had to finish it and he did it really well. It's a good goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Will Hughes. The ball with Jordan Ayu. Just the clearance that was needed. Zaha. Can he do it? Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Will Hughes, clean challenge. Nunes. Can he find the right pass? Has a go. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game. And it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Zaha. Ayu. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Ayu. On to Zaha. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Moutinho, another good tackle. Ward. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Breaking at pace. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Jimenez. Straight offside, but only just. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Coming onto the pitch, number 22, Nelson Semedo. Not a good pass. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Coming off the pitch, number seven, Pedro Neto. Coming onto the pitch, number ten, Daniel Pérez. Ruben Neves. On the pass, a good one. And a throw in here for Wolves. Nunes and return to Gedge and with that the attack fizzles out well adding up all the stoppages we will have three extra minutes Jimenez and the referee blows for full time it has gone awry for Crystal Palace and their supporters no points for them it was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. 
He worked hard, he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.